Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Now, a lot of you may know I did my very first YouTube live on Saturday evening and we ended up live for three hours. I was not expecting it. I actually told everybody that we would only be here for an hour and a half. We ended up lasting three, hour, three hours. I don't understand how quickly that time flew. It was my very first live. This technology is all so new to me. I'm clueless, guys. I don't even know how I'm here half the time. Long story short, the live got deleted. I don't know what I did. I didn't upload it properly. Whatever I did when I came out, it's gone. I left anyway. Absolutely gutted. So massive thank you to Stacey who gave up three hours of her life to be my earworm. And there's no video. And I'm so sorry. So what I decided I would do is refilm the video, show you guys what we made in the live. I'm just going to show you probably one or two that I made. So if you missed the live, you can kind of get an idea of how they were made. And hopefully you find it helpful. And if anyone knows how to save a YouTube live, let me know in the comments because... I don't know how I'm here half the time. Clueless. Let's go. So here are the results from the live. We made five bottles over the three hours, which is crazy. I, I feel like I should have made ten. But this one was the Witch's Brew. This one had vampire blood on the label. So all the viewers that were watching at the time suggested I use hot glue to create that blood effect coming out of the bottle. And I added the crossbones here that you see. That was also viewer choice. This bottle here, I absolutely love it. I'm such a sucker for the black and the silver. We used the skull that I made in a previous video. I added some chain right at the last minute. So if you couldn't stay to the end, fully understand if you couldn't, I added that on. Also added some hot glue detail. The smallest one we made was this gold and black one. Just embellished the whole bottle with some gold paint. This one here, completely out of my comfort zone. I've never done purple and silver before. Now, the center part actually used to be this skull. You would have seen if you watched the live, I overdid it with the hot glue and it looked absolutely awful. So I cracked that off this morning and just added the purple skull in and the cross underneath. It's so pretty. Right, on to the making. I pre-sprayed all of my bottles with black chalk paint before my live so that I could get ready. And I printed off lots of free printable labels from Google. You can type in apothecary jar labels, witches labels, potion bottle labels. You can type in all of those things and it will come up with a selection of free printables. And that is pretty much what I did ahead of my live just to get ready. Before I stick the labels on, I give them a really good scrunch up. I want them to have an oldie, worldy, really, really creased effect. And then I just pat them down. I'm soaking them with PVA glue or school glue. And I just pat them down because I want those creases to stay. After this, I am finishing the top with some hessian. So I just cut a circle of hessian and I hot glued it around the rim of the bottle to keep it in place. And this is so fiddly to get this right, but... Again, it doesn't have to be neat. I love the rough look at the front. So I'm just wrapping some twine around that hessian to keep it in place. And only wrapping it around a couple of times. Don't want to overdo it. And then I'm just securing it in place with some hot glue. Now we finished all of the bottles completely differently in the live. Some had hessian, some had a skull at the top, some just had twine. So it's really up to you how you finish these off. And of course you can finish it there. It's a really smart looking bottle already but I can never finish there, I have to keep going. And a lot of what I did in the live was to use hot glue embellishments, and that is what I did here. I created a spider web at the top of the bottle, just coming down and around that neck, pretty much to cover up where it says Kraken, <laughs> which is the brand, the brand of the rum bottle that I used. And for everyone asking, no, I didn't drink all of this drink. I didn't drink it, I am predominantly predominantly teetotal so these bottles were gifted to me and we actually got some from a pub when we noticed they were empty and sitting on the side we cheekily asked if we could have the bottles and they said yes so here you see me I just letting everyone know that okay <laughs> I didn't damage my liver to make this video here you see me waiting for that hot glue to cool down before going in with a kitchen sponge. I love kitchen sponges for this kind of thing. They are perfect. I cut one sponge into six little squares and they do an amazing job. Just highlighting all of that 
hot glue gives the bottle an embossed effect drop the bottle try not to do that at home and here it is pretty much finished that is all I did to this bottle and that is pretty much done let me know your thoughts now it was an interactive live I did encourage people to craft along with me and this was the results these are the results from the incredible Mary how stunning are they I absolutely love them the second one I'm going to make in this video is a small jar. This is a gorgeous hexagonal jar. I think it was a jam or a marmalade. I'm not entirely sure. This is one of my favorite labels. I've actually mentioned this in my hot glue video. If you guys saw that video, this label says dead man's fat. Yummy. <laughs> All I did with this was put the hessian over the top again and I secured that in place with some more twine. But the hessian was a little bit too higgledy-piggledy for me so I did go around and just trim it down a little bit. Again, this is preference. You don't have to do this. You can finish your jars and bottles however you wish. I decided at this point it was a little bit too soon. I should have done the dead man's fat before I actually glued the hessian down but guys we live and learn lesson lesson learned I just held the hessian down with some hot glue just to kind of keep it in place I didn't like the flappy effect it was giving then this is where the fun begins I'm going to create the illusion of fat dripping out of the jar because then it correlates and it corresponds to the label on the jar and I love this part now you can see where it's all spilled down I do actually go in and take that off and do it it's hard to get the angles so when you're doing this you need to have it upright which was something I was finding hard to film but as soon as the hot glue is dried it gives that look of dripping fat I love it I actually really love it and I love matching my labels to the end product as well as I said as I said it was a craft along with me so these are the results from the amazing Lindsay creative if you do not know her get to know her I will put her Instagram down below she's an incredible artist she made these along with her nine-year-old child which I just thought was so gorgeous and I absolutely love them the next one we are gonna make in this video is a jar now I actually didn't get all the glue off the jar you know sometimes you get a jar you take the label off and it leaves glue behind I really don't worry about that because I can cover it up with a label so here you see me just going in and scrunching up that crow's feet label now I actually went in afterwards and pinched it as much as I could pinch it to create almost like a leathery leathery effect and this jar is going to be a usable vessel so all I'm going to do is decorate it, but then I'm leaving it open. I'm leaving it completely open at the top. It could be a money jar or anything you fancy. Keep it on your shelf as a, as a secret money stash jar. <laughs> that was my plan. And here it is. Now, again, you could absolutely leave it like that, but there's just no way I could. I had to carry on. So we used a lot of this messy glue embossing method in my live um, so I figured I would go around the whole label just to kind of highlight it just messy there's there's no rules here you just go messy and lots and lots and lots of different splodges is the only way I can really describe it there's no neatness here just go wild and what that does is it just creates this really cool really cool embossed effect and it really comes to life when you start to add your paint. And I'm pretty sure that I would have probably done the whole jar, <laughs> honestly. I love it, I love the results because when I put the jar on my shelf, you're kind of looking at it from the front anyway. So that's all you need to see. But I, I'm, yeah. I'm confident I could have happily continued and done the entire jar. Let me know your thoughts at this point. Now, the next creation came from the incredible Miz. Miz was crafting along with us all as well. She actually went with her own work. She had some plans in mind and she actually waited until we were all crafting together to create them. I adore, adore that bookcase so much. And look at this little miniature world. So insane, Miz. Absolutely love them. Here are the overall results we have the mixture here from ones we made in the live like the blood one this one here with the skull hanging off i have to say that is my favorite i'm just in love with the silver and the black and at this point i was like wait which ones did we just make which ones were made on saturday honestly guys but this is the one that i said could be used as as a container 
And that's what I love about this kind of crafting. You could take some jars just for Halloween, create them to look like this, and they could effectively become your tea, your coffee, your sugar containers. Because as long as that paint does not get inside, and as long as it's still okay inside, then they're okay to use. Now here I am actually highlighting the skull. This was a suggestion in the live, but I never got around to doing it in the live. So just for anyone who did watch the live, I finally finished it and we've made the skull gold like pretty much the rest of the bottle. Let me know your thoughts. I don't know why at this point I didn't bring the purple bottle into the frame. I think it was maybe <laughs> it just wouldn't sit properly, but yeah. Let me know which one is your favourite, what colour scheme you would go with. I am absolutely in love with Lindsay's. It was almost like um, white. She used a lot of white, a lot of white kind of feathery effect. And it just looked so fairy, fairy tale-esque. Is that a word? Fairy tale-esque. So maybe next year I'm going to go less macabre and try something softer and gentler but this bottle here 100% my absolute favorite let me know your thoughts and um yeah i hope you found this helpful if you've stayed to the end i really appreciate you thank you so much sorry again for accidentally deleting the live one day i'm gonna know it i'm gonna know it and it's all gonna be okay <laughs> until then i will see you all in the next video bye